My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You're listening to Talk the Bible, where we relate the Bible to current issues, because the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. Today, I want to talk on knowledge. God, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 4, verse 6, true prophet Isaiah, God spoke, saying, his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Chapter 6, my people, uh, verse 6, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. I'm reading from uh, NIV. And I will say from lack of knowledge. What was God saying? Was God saying that that there was no knowledge? Or was it talking about a particular knowledge? Who are God's people? And what is knowledge? There's this popular saying about knowledge. That knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. So what God is saying is that his people are destroyed for lack of power. You know, when you gain knowledge, truly you gain power. The reason why you see people going to medical doctor for issue that they are facing those who we call medical doctor they are human being like us but we respect them we go to them we listen to them because they gain knowledge of what we are looking for the same thing the same thing goes to mechanic you take your car to mechanic and they take advantage of you if you don't have any clue about your your engine or your 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 car if you don't have a, a some kind of a mechanical knowledge you don't they will manipulate you they will use you that's how those who have knowledge of something have influence on you that doesn't have that knowledge so those who have knowledge have power so god is concerned about his people don't have power of certain thing because they lack the knowledge of that thing so what is god talking about god is talking about the knowledge of him his people are destroyed for lack of the knowledge of him because we who call ourselves christian we are the people of god today the reason why you don't see the influence of the word of God in our society today is because of us. Because we lack the knowledge of God. So because we lack the knowledge of God, the word of God is of no value to our society. If you live in the western world, you will agree with me. Even if you don't live in the western world, you still agree with me. It's somewhere like Africa or third world country when they want to be successful or they want to succeed they go to a black magic they run away from god because they don't believe that god is capable of blessing them so they do all kind of thing because of the lack of the knowledge of god and when you lack knowledge you put yourself in a destruction lack of knowledge will destroy you the reason why a lot of people are dying today is because of the lack of the knowledge of something. If you are a citizen of a country, if you don't have the knowledge of your right, you will be manipulated, you will be abused, or you can get killed because you lack the knowledge of your right. For example, I'm originally from Nigeria. Police can take your life they can disgrace you and in nigeria we bribe our way out the reason why we do all these things is because we don't understand our right so we're trying to bribe our, our way out we're trying to, to to subject to whatever they take us through 
because we don't know our right. So why am I saying this? This is what happened to you when you lack the knowledge of something that is very important to you. God is saying that we as children will lack the knowledge of him and because we lack the knowledge of him we are destroyed and that is true. There are a lot of Christians or so many Christians that are destroying today because of the lack of the knowledge of God and because we lack the knowledge of God the word of God has no place in our life has no value we quote, we quote the word of god but when we need help the word of god is not where we go a lot of us today in the western world we practice yoga christian because we feel that the word of god is not capable or we don't really know the word of god i think the things is that we don't know the word of god because we don't know god how many of us every day, including me, wake up and think about God and spend a little time with God? We can spend time reading book written by man about yoga, about different things, but we don't read the Bible because we lack the knowledge of God. And that brings destruction. Why? There's so many promises in the word of God. The Bible says the word of God is true. So if the word of God is true, every promises in the word of God should be true. And if that is true, why is it not manifested in our life? Is that because God is wrong or God is too old? No, it's because we lack the knowledge of God. People are dying out of ignorance. You know, there is this word that say, ignorant of the law is not an excuse and it is not an excuse some people say my pastor didn't teach me well but you have the bible your greatest teacher is the holy spirit you can't say you can't go tell the judge that i didn't know the law you run speed and run through red light and say i'm sorry i didn't know that is a crime you will go to jail you will suffer before you realize that you break the law it's the same thing Ignorant of the knowledge, the knowledge of God bring destruction to Christians. There's no difference between us and, and the people in the world today. Let me rephrase that. There's different. They are more successful than us. So even we're trying to emulate them. We're trying to copy them. We, they, they are the ones teaching us yoga. We run after them. They promote the power of yoga because they have the knowledge of what they are talking about the word of god doesn't have any place in our society today and that is true because of the lack of the knowledge of god the bible said the word of god is powerful it's active and relevant in our society it's, it's sharper than any double-edged sword and it go deep, it pierces into the heart, the soul, the marrow. The only things that can change and transform our life, that can bring healing and deliverance and peace to us, is the word of God. And is the is the is the word that we rejected. He said, because you rejected knowledge. Because you have ignored the law of your God and the Bible says the word of God is the law when you understand the law you will know your right and when you know your right you gain power you can protect yourself you can deliver yourself you can defend yourself you can take possession of what belongs to you we are losing everything because of the lack of the knowledge because of the lack of the knowledge of god that is the reason why this program is called talk the bible i'm taking this journey if you want to be part of the journey i ask you to subscribe Follow, 
share because the word of God needs to manifest. There are so many promises that have been given to us through the word of God, through the written word of God, which is the Bible. And we're going to go through every day to claim our right. Enough is enough. If you feel that you have not obtained or attained to where you're supposed to be as a Christian, it is time to say enough is enough. There's so many promises. Say Christian dying like chicken. My wife said, don't use the word chicken. Say, oh, how did chicken die? I say, if you're in Africa, you understand how chicken die. Chicken died before they were killed. Fear. You know how many Christians that are in fear when the word of God said 365 times, do not fear. Lack of the knowledge of God. Lack of the knowledge of God. How do you gain knowledge? You gain knowledge through study. Those who are medical doctors, they didn't just become medical doctor one day. They study. Through study, through training, people who are mechanic, they go through training. Through personal experience, through relationship. If you want to gain knowledge of someone, you have to relate with that person. You have to build an intimacy with that person. You have to go through training. You have to go through study to know. You can't call yourself medical doctor when you just go sit down in the classroom and graduated. You will kill people. They went through a lot. That is how you gain the knowledge of God. And knowledge is power. And I'm telling you today, when you have the knowledge of God, the word of God will resonate in you. And the manifestation of the word of God, you will see it in you. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is true. The word of God is like two-edged sword or two-double-edged sword. The word of God is like a an hammer and fire. What else do you need? And the word of God is life. Are you looking for life today? Are you looking for a way to break yourself loose? The word of God is what you need. But you have to gain the knowledge of God for you to be able to use it. The word of God is law. The word of law, the law that governs the universe. And for you to be able to know and experience and be able to use the word of God, you have to know God. So my next Teaching is going to be who is God. And then after then, we're going to take the word of God. When you understand this, when you have the knowledge of who God is, you will be able to value the word of God. You will respect the word of God. You will embrace the word of God. You will uphold the word of God. When you do that, you will see the manifestation of the word of God in your life. It's not about going to church. This is not about saying, I am a Christian. This is about using the word of God. Are you ready? Because I am. Everything that belongs to me shall manifest. You see, the people who are yoga, I use them. I'm not trying to put them down. They demand, they speak to the universe. You have more power over the universe than them. It is time to pursue, to overtake, and recover all. 
I pray today that God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our glorious Father, He'll give you spiritual wisdom and revelation so that you may know Him better. And I also pray that the eyes of your understanding be open, be enlightened so that you may know who you are in Him and who He is in you so that you can be able to stand on your right. I pray this in Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen with me. And I will see you again. Subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.